Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access Trader.com. Uh, weekend update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. It is Friday after the close, about five o'clock. I don't know when you guys are going to uh, see this broadcast, but I got a lot of things going on this weekend with the kids, with basketball, this, that, and third. So figure knock it out while stuff is still uh, fresh in my mind. If you are a, a brand new viewer, thank you very much for uh, finding us. If you are an old school uh, viewer of the broadcast, thank you very much for continuing to stay with us. The only thing uh, I continue to ask, if you could be just so kind, it takes one second, guys, uh, to click a like, uh, support the program, and again, I will hope to you know give you some unbiased uh, technical analysis opinions only for the next day. I can't, I'm not a fortune teller, I can't tell you what's going to happen three weeks from now. So let's talk about the tape, right? Uh, first and foremost, uh, again, our thoughts and prayers uh, for all the victims of Hurricane uh, Milton, um, you know, the more I see uh, the footage, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. So hopefully uh, you guys are safe and sound. Uh, again, our thoughts and prayers uh, are with you for hopefully a speedy uh, recovery back to uh, any type of normalcy. But again, there's just certain things in life uh, that are unfortunate in Mother Nature. Unfortunately, sometimes there's not... There's not uh, have a sense of humor. So hopefully you guys are okay. Other than that, I mean, again, you know, you can go back to last week's broadcast, last weekend, the weekend before, the weekend before that. Nothing materialistically has changed. The market uh, continues to go higher. Uh, there's two things you can do. Either take advantage of it or sit on the sidelines, talk about how it doesn't make sense. I'm not sure what doesn't make sense about it. When you have buyers cleaning up sellers, stocks go higher. When you have sellers cleaning up buyers, well, what happens? Stocks go lower. So the fact that we're above the 50-day moving average uh, dips are being bought. Um, it's bullish. It's absolutely bullish. Stocks don't need a reason uh, to go higher. You know, stocks don't need uh, specific news to go higher. When you're in a um, big momentum cycle. There's rotation. We've been, you know, if you've been watching the video, you know, day after day after day, it goes from Nvidia to this, to this, to that, to that, the third, to, you know, other uh, you know, semis are running. Now you got Micron running. You got Square running. You got. You know, even uh, you know, even uh, SoFi, right? SoFi. Um, I'm, you know, I'm in this thing for three days. Finally, uh, exploded today with a five percent move. So you, you know, you have a great, great market. Okay, you don't need to sit there and kind of split hairs. Eventually, uh, the market is going to gas out. Even the greatest stock uh, on the planet right now, which is Nvidia, uh, you know, which is Nvidia. You know, eventually you'll get tired. Sellers will get tired. It'll come on down. But again, you know, stick to the ones that are coming out of the bottom ranges. Stick to the ones that are uh, poised to come out of bottom channels. Don't chase uh, price performance. Don't chase stocks that are up, you know, 14 days in a row. Stick to the ones off the bottom. You can see here, you know, this, you know, chart after chart after trade after trade that we had this week. I mean, look at these moves. I mean, snow was a phenomenal, right? Absolutely phenomenal move for us uh, for the bottom, from the bottom channel. It's a big, big move. Micron, we've been talking about for four days. Watch this channel. Watch the channel. It's finally starting to bust out of the channel. This is now the highest close in this whole formation, including uh, the earnings highs, right? It took it took basically about three weeks to get back above supply. This is the first close above supply. Uh, if the market continues to shine next week and we continue to see good uh, flow into the semiconductors names, I mean, look, look which room Micron has. Micron has room uh, all the way up to the earnings highs, which were 1480. Stock closed at 107. So there's a lot of really great uh, rotation. We'll get to some names um, I like, especially non-beta names that I like. Uh, going into Monday. But, you know, you have a lot of names that did uh, very, very well this week. You have a lot of names that did nothing this week. And you have a lot of names that just stuck in the channel. So uh, let's talk about them, right? You got Tesla. So the big thing this week uh, was the uh, Robo Taxi event. If you were like me yesterday, I was watching the Yankees game. I was watching Thursday night football and 10 o'clock rolled around and I turned on uh, the Tesla feed and I was waiting. I was waiting, and I was waiting. Half hour later, I was waiting. 40 minutes later, I was waiting. 45 minutes later, I was waiting. At some point, the Yankees clinched uh, clinched, uh, clinched uh, the playoff series, and I was like, oh, I'm going to sleep. 45 minutes, listening to bad techno, 
I'm good, right? I didn't need to see or hear exactly what he said until the next day uh, when I saw some of the clips. And it looked like to me, and again, I watched the replay for about 10 minutes, but it looked like to me it was a really cool presentation. I thought the robo taxis were fire. Like I really did, especially with the wings, uh, with the doors. I thought those robots that you can buy eventually for like 20, 30 grand, they were fire, right? Fire. I mean, absolutely fire. You see clips of a dude having an old conversation with a, with a robot. That is mad cool, right? It is mad cool. What killed it is Elon Musk, right? He needs media training. He, he really kind of needs to, to figure things out, what to say, what not to say. Uh, he killed the stock today, basically. Uh, and the reason why I say that, the, like, again, the show itself was very cool. What what made the stock, and I knew this as soon as I heard it, he turned around and said, well, because somebody asked him, when do you think all this is going to take place? And he goes, wow, 25, 26. He goes, but everybody knows me. Ha, ha, ha. I'm way too optimistic with my timeline. Right? Like we talked about leading up to the, you know, to the, to the show that, you know, most news, most events will get sold. This was, you know, another one. But the fact that he said that, in my opinion, um, you know, I woke up this morning, the stock was down 4%. I woke up 6%. Then at one point it went down 10%. And, you know, again, Tesla did not uh, fare well after this uh, report. And now you have to start asking yourself, is there more downside ahead, right? Is there more downside ahead? Or is this just kind of a uh, an, an isolated event. It's going to hold the bottom of the channel and start grinding its well back up. Because as of right now, it closed below the 50-day moving average. We all know what happens below the 50-day moving average. It's never a good thing. So if you're a Tesla shareholder, well, you, you, you need you need the stock to get back above this 225 level ASAP, right? Like yesterday, right? Like you like literally like yesterday. So the longer Tesla stays below the 50-day moving average, the higher probability the stock. Uh, might go see the bottom channel here. Uh, obviously, I will be watching next week uh, for any continuation of weakness, especially below today's channels, uh, to take advantage of it. Uh, again, the idea of something being overbought or oversold makes absolutely no sense. How could the stock be uh, oversold if the, the recent lows were $182? Makes no sense. The same way somebody turned around and go, well, the stock is overbought at 264 Huh? What? How could it be overbought at 264 if the highs... Uh, if the highs, summer highs were, were uh, you know, 271. So again, guys, be careful what you listen to on social media. Again, it's a lot of a lot of kids that are trading for, you know, 12 months uh, talking about their their experience in the market. It, it, again, the charts are charts. It's, it's telling you a story. Uh, you know the, you know, the ending, you know, the beginning, and you're just trying to figure out uh, the meat and potatoes of what's going on next. So again, so not great news for uh, Tesla. Amazon uh, had the prime uh, prime thingamajiggy finally got above this whole bottom channel here. Reclaimed back the 10-day moving average. That's super bullish. We've seen, uh, you know, near-term 190, 195, uh, $200 calls come in for the name. Again, if the market continues to be strong, uh, keep an eye on Amazon for next week uh, for more uh, upside. Um, you know, names, again, like Micron, like we talked about, you know, it looks great. You know, Micron looks super good. It looks like, it, if again, the market holds up, uh, it should poise to, to test this whole channel here, 112 to 114. Uh, you got names like Arm, right? You got names like Arm, had a great, great run uh, in early part of September, came in for profit taking. You can see orderly, right? Orderly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row of green candles, higher closes than open, stairway to heaven, higher highs, higher lows. Uh, watch the September eyes. You know, arm starts taking out the September eyes. You know, this thing could be lit, right? This thing could be absolutely lit. So uh, definitely keep an eye on uh, arm going into uh, next week. Um, look at Apple. Uh, Apple's been kind of fighting the top of this channel here. Um, it's been, been rejected off the top of the channel here like four times. I, I definitely like it uh, going into next week. So again, assuming you could get it back above this channel here. This is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, Monday will be 10. That's two full weeks worth of distribution. Let's see if the money flow comes into Apple. Uh, we did see an abundance, okay, of 230 and 235 calls coming in for next week. So this is a name you should definitely uh, keep an eye on. Uh, let me give you guys some, um, let me give you guys some non-beta names that look good. Again, I traded up uh, some non-beta names this week and they were good. I mean, they were really, really good. I traded Square. 
uh, yesterday, right? We traded square yesterday coming out of this channel. Gave us a nice move. Uh, Micron again. Uh, I still have a, I still have a runner uh, on Micron. Uh, big move on Micron there. Snap had a great trade. We had a great trade on that Snap. I'm sorry, not Snap. SoFi, sorry. Snap actually, we'll talk about it in a second. SoFi, you guys remember SoFi? I've been talking about it for a couple of days. Watch SoFi. They came, they came in for the 11, uh, for the um, November uh, $10 calls, right? It finally broke out today. Look at the move. I put a you know, 5% move today. Uh, really, really nice move. So again, you're seeing a lot of rotation into speculation money names, which is very, very bullish. So let me give you guys uh, some names that look interesting for uh, Monday. IONQ. Uh, broke out today of a channel that started on September the 30th. Big, big expansion channel that day. So we confirmed it today. Watch this thing on any dips or above uh, today's channel. On uh, November 1250 calls uh, came in, look really, really good. UPST, monster breakout today, right? Monster breakout today, big volume. Uh, confirmed the channel from August the 29th. Uh, they were coming in some some pretty aggressive in the afternoons, uh, the November 60 calls. You definitely want to keep an eye on this thing into dips or into uh, today's channel uh, to confirm. So keep an eye on uh, that. Um, snap, right? You know, Snap, not bad. Snap does not look bad here. Again, I think it's going to need, um, you know, I think it's going to need a little bit of time to get through all the supply. But as long as it could stay above this $11 area, it's a slow mover, but you know it's going to take a little time. It's not going to be one of those days of one, two days. It's going to take some time, but it, it definitely, definitely looks good. Um, look at Meta, right? So Meta had this massive run up again. You guys remember I was looking a couple of days ago for a loss of the uh, 10 day moving average to get short. As you can see, it's not losing it, right? It's not losing at all. So we have a very, very definitive channel going into next week. We either going to uh, short if it loses the 10 day moving average, or we're going to get long if it reclaims back the five. And you can see here, it's, it's held the 10, the green line, and it's got rejected off the orange line. So something's going to give you, okay, something's going to give us a big trade here on Meta, either, either reclaiming back the five day moving average uh, or uh, losing the 10. So again, the market continues to be good. Uh, final numbers going into uh, this, uh, what is it? Final numbers. Uh, going into um, the week, let's see what we got here. We got, uh, da, 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 da. what do we got here? We got, uh, who the hell even knows? I can't even see. Anyway, we were up, right? We were up. We know we were up. Uh, more important, uh, it's very good tape. The money, money continues uh, to flow. Here were the pivots from today. Uh, Micron, we got long yesterday at 104 uh, 80s. Uh, traded today, got above the 106.60 level, traded to like 107.70s. Again, this is the highest close in the whole formation. Uh, Robinhood, 25.88 and 26.10 needs to build. Here was Robinhood, right? Here was Robinhood. This is the highest close in the whole formation. Uh, went to 26.65. Still looks uh, really, really good. Uh, Apple, I'm watching, never got there. Uh, yeah, the video gave a small move, like a 70 cent move. There was like a whole village sitting there at 135. Uh, you know, when a 70 cent move, uh, AI, nice move here on AI, uh, short term expiration. They were coming from the 27 and 29s from November. Just keep an eye on this thing. 2640, uh, needs to build on AI, right? So it took out the 2640, uh, traded up a dollar. I guess a dollar on a $20 stock is pretty good move. Uh, Chipotle finally got above the 59 area, traded up to 59.50. This is now the highest close in the whole formation. Let's see if they run this thing up on earnings. Uh, TDOC, I like still, didn't confirm on, I believe, yeah, so here it is right here. Uh, here it is right here uh, on uh, SoFi. Um, here it is on SoFi. Here are my notes. Um, get down to 25% on the nine push. Again, we're long from this 860s level. Beautiful move. Uh, beautiful move. I'd like to see this thing get into the 910 uh, 930 area next week would be uh, absolutely nice. That's it, guys. Everybody have a great weekend, everybody. If you are uh, interested in pivots, I, again, all I need, all you should do is literally come into the webinar uh, for 30 days. Is it for everybody? No, it's not. Okay. If you have a $500 account, it's not for you. Okay. There's no, uh, it's just not going to happen. Um, but if you, uh, if you are interested in pivots and you feel like this is going to be uh, a good fit for you, all you need is 30 days to kick the tires uh, to see if it's a right fit. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great weekend. And with God's help, I will see you all on Monday. Take care.